Hey YouTube, back with a bots tier 9 4 player co-op weapons tier list this time. Uh, the Warbond has now been released. We had the balance patch that came out last month that did a lot of sweeping changes. In general, i just like to come back and do a recap on what has changed. Uh, and let's get into it. Starting off with the normal Liberator, I think it's just your standard bread and butter assault rifle. You can't really go wrong with using it. It just kind of works for you. Um, you know, you're probably going to move on to something else, uh, maybe something that does something more special, like uh, with the limited ammo with the sickle, but, you know, it just, it is what it is. Uh, Liberator Penetrator, uh, I want to put, is like somewhere in the B tier, I, probably a little bit higher. I, I do think that the medium pen is significantly more useful in bots than in bugs. Uh, being able to hit the rear of a tank, being able to take off the turrets of a factory strider, although it takes a lot of shots with the Liberator Penetrator, you can, in fact, do it. I don't necessarily recommend people be running around with delivery penetrator when you have so many other options, but you know it's there for those people. Liberate concussive, uh, although I want to put it B minus because the concussion effect is quite nice. I'm not a fan of how many shots it takes to kill things. I would much rather use the pummeler when it comes to the concussion effect. I'm sure many would probably agree with me. I'm sure there's going to be some people in there that love love their um, <laughs> liver concussive, but I, I don't know. I, I just got to say. Probably, probably C plus B minus. Uh, I'd love to just see maybe a little bit more damage or fire rate to bump it up. Sickle, uh, I think is like an A plus S minus. I want it to be able to do something more special. Uh, it's by far the best assault rifle that's light pen in the game. It's essentially the stalwart in the primary slot. Uh, although it lost three radiators uh, as far as like the backup heat sinks. That's what I mean. Uh, it's still fantastic. It has unlimited ammo essentially. Uh, as long as you're quite proficient and accurate with it it can kill devastators incredibly quickly it has next to no recoil good sights it's just really freaking good uh the adjudicator i'm gonna put in uh, b plus a minus kind of territory i like that it's a medium pen assault rifle i like that it's medium pen but it just takes too many shots to really kill anything and i find that because it's medium pen and it has a lot of recoil you're not really going for the front face plate you're most likely going to be shooting legs on devastators and that's a little bit easier said than done on heavy devastators in particular. And because it doesn't have much flinch, you're going to have to hit some very accurate shots on heavy devastators. It's good versus tier one bots. And although it can take out tanks, it's not as good as like, you know, your other, you know, medium pen alternatives like the counter sniper or uh, hell, the dominator, which just absolutely dominates it, dominates it, pun intended. The pulverizer or tenderizer, tenderizer, the tenderizer that they've just added uh, because, okay, because it's been released with less ammo reserves than it should get on resupply i want to put in like c plus b minus territory if it was fixed i would just put it right next to liberator because as many people know it's literally the liberator but with slightly different stat adjustments less recoil same damage a little bit lower fire rate but slightly more ammo and reserves so it it really is just the liberator in, in a different pair of pants some people are very upset about that but the devs were pretty clear that four bonds will have some unique weapons and then some that are just alternate forms of weapons we already have existing, right? They won't necessarily be always be special. I understand the disappointment, but it is what it is. Uh, just fix the ammo economy, and I think it would just be a nice alternative to the people that want to use the Liberator, but don't want as much recoil. Uh, the Defender, uh, I want to put like A minus B plus uh, territory. Uh, now that the Pummeler exists, I want to say that I'm going to see a lot less people using the Defender personally. If I'm going to pick an SMG, I'm just going to pick the Defender at this point. It's still a solid weapon, and you can pair it um, with the Ballistic Shield, uh, especially on those lower difficulties. The Ballistic Shield really shines. Uh, and also, the one-handed uh, tends to be very good on bot missions because you're doing the double uh, hard drive missions. Uh, you don't typically get the double hard drive. I don't think you can get the double hard drive missions on bug missions, but you do on bots. So... Uh, a minus B plus. It's very strong, but I would recommend using the Pummeler. And that's where I'm going to go to next. The Pummeler is the better SMG. As, and it actually makes the Ballistic Shield even more viable on harder difficulties because you can start stun locking uh, rocket devastators from doing their barrage at you. And that's the biggest bane of your existence when it comes to the, uh, uh, the Ballistic Shield is that your Ballistic Shield is awesome versus all blasters until one rocket hits you, knocks on your ass, and you could potentially die during that ragdoll effect. So... The Pummeler does definitely help the dev, uh, the Blissey Shield quite a bit, and I and I have been really enjoying that. Uh, the Knight, uh, I think if you put it in Burst Fire, it's quite strong. Unfortunately, it suffers from half magazine or half reserves as well when you resupply it. It's probably a B minus B tier. Uh, when you put it in Burst, it kind of turns into a pretty laser accurate, like small caliber, like 
first assault rifle. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I do recommend trying it out. It's uh, not bad if you have the Super Citizen Edition. For those who don't know, it's the Super Citizen Edition where you unlock it. Counter Sniper, uh, very pleasantly surprised to see the buffs to uh, its handling. I like it. Uh, I love that it has medium pen. I feel like it's missing that extra oomph to put it into S tier, but it is very precise and you can one tap Devastators from quite a bit of a distance. The sights are accurate. They're not misaligned. And yeah, it's just a very solid, you know, if you're not using AMR, it's your AMR light. It's solid. Uh, the Diligence, uh, I'm going to put like B plus A tier. Um, I At this point, I feel like the normal Diligence doesn't quite have as much of a home now that the Counter Cyber feels so good. Uh, you're going to take on, I believe it's always two shots, sometimes three, depending on distance, uh, to the head with the Diligence. I think it's always two. I believe it's always two. Uh, but like, I would rather just one shot. Um, the, the downsides of having the, the counter sniper are not nearly as seen now that like it handles so well. If the handling on the uh, counter sniper really bothers you, doing that extra shot might make up for that because the handling on the diligence is just fine. Going into another weapon that doesn't have the best handling but is insanely powerful, both from stagger and damage perspective, it's a dominator. I think we all knew that it was going to be up here. It's just insanely good. Uh, it, there's no wrong way of using it like the metal loadout at the moment is usually like auto cannon dominator and there's a reason for it when your auto cannon runs out of ammo when you need to deal with you know a tank or a, a, a hulk from behind or a devastator like you're, you're just this is what you use it staggers on every hit and has a good fire rate if you put it in first person or crouch in third person it has like next to no recoil it's disgusting it's really 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 good to the point where it might receive another nerf in the future i would not be surprised it's so good compared to its competition uh crossbow I'm going to put like C plus B minus. Uh, the explosive damage uh, radius being reduced does affect it, but not as much as with bugs, in my opinion. Um, the stagger is noticeable, but it doesn't seem to be long enough. It's not enough stagger to be very beneficial to the weapon, unfortunately, which is why I'm not going to put it higher. Uh, it is nice in four player co-op because you can activate bot drops from long distance by like shooting this at a you know, a very long distance area. I think it has like a max range of like 250, 300 meters. So if you get the arc right, you can kill an enemy from very long distance, activate that bot drop, and that bot drop's not on you. Those enemies are so far away from you, they'll most likely despawn before they even attempt to get to you. The Eruptor is a hot topic as of late because they just removed the shrapnel on it and gave it 40 additional damage. I don't believe it was enough of a damage increase to equal out at least even a little bit of the shrapnel. There's no doubt that the shrapnel was incredibly powerful to the point where it was basically a support weapon inside your primary slot. I'm definitely still seeing one shots on the Devastators. Hit them in the face plate on the eye. Uh, you can still one shot uh, Striders sometimes. Uh, you want to get that like leg slash like crotch area on the Striders. Um, it's still fantastic utility versus Fabricators. Uh, it can deal with tanks from behind because it's explosive damage. My issue at this point is that I'm not really going to be using it, especially if they fix the animation cancel that you can do to make it fire faster. So I find myself using it with like the laser cannon, AMR, HMG, so on and so forth, right? Those kind of weapons where they're good in bot missions, but I still want to be able to reliably take out fabricators at a distance. And for that reason, I'm going to put the Eruptor still in A tier because it just has so much utility compared to everything around it. Although the ad clear isn't as powerful, the utility is, imm is immense. It really is. Um, it, it enables you to take a secondary that you more prefer, and you can now kill fabricators from much farther distances. I know there's going to be those people just use the grenade pistol. The grenade pistol has far worse ammo economy because you only get two grenades back on resupply or one from a ground brick. But also, because of that arch, you're not really able to reliably kill a fabricator at long distance. I know there's going to be that person that says, well, Maple, just be better at the game. I can do it from 150 meters. That's great, but <laughs> not everybody's as good as you did. All right, so... The Eruptor being able to snipe Fabricators from long distances is very useful when you're bringing a support weapon that isn't just the autocannon. I understand a lot of people are using the autocannon, but not everybody wants to. So this really enables those kind of playstyles, and it's very powerful from that standpoint. And it's still pretty good in bot missions for killing enemies because there's just less dense uh, like mob density. All right, going into the Blitzer, I uh, saw a B tier. Um, I, it lacks range for me to want to put it closer, uh, higher up. The 50% fire increase was really nice, but... It doesn't have enough range for me to feel comfortable using it in bot missions all the time, unless you're heavily relying on your other weapon, like your support weapon, to take care of everything else. Uh, for that reason, I don't feel like it deserves to be really that much higher, but, you know, I'm sure that some people absolutely adore the stagger, and just being able to stagger units is quite powerful, especially when those berserkers are right up in your face. You never have to reload. You know, you have constant damage and so forth. 
Uh, Breaker's Burn play, I think, is a pretty obvious, like, needs a buff bad in comparison to the uh, the competition or just C tier. I'm sure some people will use it, but it handles like a boat, and because they buff the Incendiary Breaker so much, it has an Identity Crisis. It does less damage than the um, Incendiary Breaker, and it doesn't have anything special to it. So at this point, it has an Identity Crisis. It needs something. Uh, breaker, the, just a the normal Breaker, I believe is like a B plus a minus kind of weapon i think for now i'm gonna put a b plus it's still strong it can mag dump it does a lot of damage uh but it lacks that special element other than just being able to do a lot of damage very fast it's not as useful versus bots than it is for bugs because you need to be more precise on average and having stagger is incredibly important when we're talking about bots talking about the incendiary breaker i want to put it in the a minus tier it, this is a bit of a tough one for me, and I've been kind of juggling this in my head and talking about it a fair bit on stream, where now that incendiary damage is fixed, it is useful for, like, spraying at a bunch of tier 1 bots, and they just fall over. As long as one pellet hits them, they fall over. And it's fairly useful for, like, lighting enemies on fire at a distance while you're, like, running away and weakening them over time. And it's fairly good for taking out berserkers for that same situation, right? You light them all on fire, they will slowly tick, and as they get towards you, you just keep lighting them on fire, and they will eventually die, right? So for a certain play style, I think it's fairly useful and for like team play weakening a bunch of enemies that are in front of you and taking out all those tier one bots so they're less likely to do a bot drop you know i see the potential of being fairly useful for a team uh like if you see a bot drop come in you can just spray the undercarriage all those tier one bots will die immediately which is fairly useful but you know can you do that with a nade or can you do that with your support weapon can you do that with like x y or z weapon like even an eruptor can do that so I struggle with this one. I want to put it more towards A. I would prefer using it over the breaker because at least it has that incendiary damage. But because bots have so much overall HP, I can't put it any higher. And I totally understand if you disagree with me on this and you want to put it lower. I think it's fair. All right, Pummeler. I'm gonna Pummeler and the Punisher are like two weapons that have an amazing stagger. And even though it's like one of the first weapons, I think it's literally the first weapon you unlock in the first war bond, it's still super good versus bots. It has so much stagger that, you know, if you're not someone who's very accurate as a player, you know, you can kind of just spray this at enemies and it works for you. It does work. Uh, it's not like the best of the best or anything like that. But if you don't feel like being super accurate versus bots, it performs quite well. It does a lot of upfront damage. It doesn't do anything special, which is why I won't put it higher. But yeah, it, it at least has a lot of stagger and upfront damage. Uh, going into the next one, I'm going to put the slugger. I think the slugger and the diligence counter sniper, or uh, sorry, it's just the diligence, are very similar weapons in uh, many respects. Although the Slugger does more damage, the Diligence has a better fire rate and, uh, you know, that half amount of damage. Slugger's still good. Uh, I know a lot of people talk shit about it, but I know it received too much of a nerf. I agree with that. I wish they would add a little bit of a stagger back to it, but it's still a strong contender for, like, a good bot weapon, right? So if, like, the Diligence is, like, B plus, A minus, I think the Slugger just slightly ahead of it. I would rather use the Slugger over the Diligence, I think, overall. Uh, but, you know, depending on the person, if you really enjoy the sights and the, and the zoom of the Diligence, I wouldn't be surprised if you, like, swap those around. Right. But personally, I would rather use the slugger for like those zerkers that are running me down and stuff like that, because you can still one tap uh, devastators and one tap um, uh, berserkers quite often, as long as you're aiming for that front face plate. Uh, so next, going into the Punisher Plasma, another A tier weapon. I want to put it right next to the Plasma Punisher and the Punisher. Or yeah, the Plasma Punisher and the Punisher has a uh, tongue twister. Uh, great weapon for bots. Uh, little niche, I, I will admit. Some people won't agree with me on this, but now that they've increased the overall damage splash radius, and they've increased uh, the bullet velocity of the weapon, it's a lot more usable. It lacks range, but I think for that mid-range, anything between 50 to 0 meters, or actually maybe like 3, 4 meters because you don't want to kill yourself with it, it's very powerful, right? You are bullying Devastators, you're bullying Striders, you're absolutely one-shotting Tier 1 bots. It's very good for those clusters of Berserkers. It's a, it's a decent weapon. I do enjoy using it versus bots. Not always my go-to, but I do like it quite a bit. All right, going into the purifier. This will be a little bit of a controversial one, and I'm sure people will talk about it in the comments, and I want to hear your opinions about it. I do. Uh, but I think it deserves to be A-. minus. It really is the Plasma Punisher, but with more range, which is very useful for bots. But I don't think the weapon is working as intended at the moment. It says that it's medium pen and explosive damage, but from my testing and gameplay at the moment, it seems like the two weapons, Plasma Punisher and the purifier, are essentially doing the same thing. Uh, like the same damage, same everything. And the way I can kind of almost prove that the medium pen isn't working is if you shoot a Strider's turrets underneath, you know, the Gatling turrets, they're supposed to die to medium pen. So if you take any medium pen weapon, the Senator, uh, Eruptor, 
uh, counter sniper, so on and so forth, the adjudicator. Enough medium pen rounds, you'll kill it. Problem is with the purifier, I used my whole reserves in a tier four bot mission. All I did was sit there shooting at the turrets, like one in particular, and I couldn't kill it. I think it might not be working as intended. I believe it would probably be like an A tier weapon and a lot stronger if it was working because you would more reliably kill Devastators and Striders in like one to two shots. But because of that, you're more or less just using it as a plasma puncher at longer ranges. So you're taking like three to four shots on average for a Devastator, two shots for a, um, a Factory Strider. So I'd be interested to see what the uh, the devs uh, notice about this weapon because I don't believe the medium pen is working. But I do believe it deserves to be an A tier for bots. It is very good for bullying bots at range and it can kill them at much farther ranges than the plasma puncher but it just fires slower right so make sure you bring some kind of secondary with you that can deal with the bots that get close but you know this thing uh, on average i think it was three shotting zerkers you know aim for like the chest uh stomach area like that's not bad at all not as good as the plasma puncher at close range but it at least has more range scorcher no surprise right up there next to the dominator um if the, if the Purifier is a mixture of two weapons, it would be the Scorcher and the Plasma Punisher. It kind of melt Like, the Scorcher is just that longer range, easy to use. It just fires when you click the button uh, kind of weapon. You don't always need to be accurate with it, but it does reward you for being accurate versus Devastators. It takes less shots. Uh, it's just strong. It's very good for taking out tanks at range or taking out, um, fa um, taking out like, laser turrets. Just get a little bit of a flank, shoot at the, radi uh, the back half, the radiator side of the turret, and you will take it out in about a mag. It's just super strong, and a lot of people really like it, and I can see why. It's super good. The Scythe, uh, I'm going to put somewhere in B tier. I think it just deserves to be next to the Liberator and stuff. Although it has uh, unlimited ammo, and the extra damage buffs have been nice, I think it needs a better scope. Uh, I don't want to use it at anything longer than 50 meters because it has no zoom, and you need to be pinpoint accurate to make it really work. Um, I might be even being a little bit too kind to it, because uh, until they give it like at least a sickle-like scope, I don't see it really leaving this, like, bottom of the B tier. Uh, I hope they look at the scythe and just give it a little bit more love. Or just a little more fire time. That would also help it a lot. Because it overheats a lot faster than uh, the other uh, laser weapons, unfortunately. All right. Going into the dagger. I think it's better now. I want to put it B minus. Maybe C still. But i don't know it's 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 a hard choice for me because i i understand that some people will like the unlimited ammo and like the the laser accurate <laughs> pun intended accuracy for it but ah uh, it's that's a tough one for me man because i think it almost deserves to just be still steve tier because it, it lacks that immediacy of like taking out an enemy and it just it, it feels so weak at times dealing even with tier one bots you really have to hit the head to kill them in like a timely manner I I think I'm going to lean more towards the C+. Plus. I think that's being pretty fair. All right. Uh, with the Redeemer's nerf, I think I'm going to be putting it in the A tier solid. I don't think it's quite the S tier that it once was. Uh, I hope in the future that more sidearms feel like the Redeemer because I still think it's overall the best sidearm for bots, but it has a lot more competition now, but not enough in my opinion. Uh, out of all of the light pen weapons... It's just the best. Put it in semi-auto, and it's literally just the Peacemaker. A little bit less damage, but a way bigger magazine and more ammo reserves. Um, I, I just hope in the future that, you know, they can make more primary weapons feel as good as the Redeemer does. Uh, and for those talking about, like, well, I got a huge recoil nerf, it is rather large, and because you want it to be pinpoint accurate, that's why it's no longer in the S tier, in my opinion, for bots. It's dropped a little bit. It's still in that A+. Plus. It's still very solid, though. Uh, going into the grenade pistol, solid utility focused sidearm um not much killing but at least it has high utility uh it enables you to bring you know stun grenades and a support weapon that doesn't deal with fabricators and then you can bring this thing it's also fairly decent for shooting up under a bot drop and just doing initially a bunch of damage to enemies the ammo economy is not strong and that's why i'm not really putting any higher because if the ammo, uh, ammo economy was stronger it would be more usable for killing enemies but you just go through the ammo so fast killing fabricators that there's very little ammo uh left for you to just use in general ad clear and you don't get much back for resupply so that's kind of unfortunate unless you die which is the best resupply for it technically uh the peacemaker solid solid sidearm it just it just is solid i i wish it did a little bit more damage but then it would be stepping on the uh toes of the verdict which are i'll just place it right now is like a solid like middle a uh sidearm i've been quite enjoying it for bot missions it doesn't quite have the ammo economy of the Redeemer, which is why I'm not putting it as high as the Redeemer. 
but at least it has like good stopping power and on it pretty reliably one taps tier one bots which is nice i sometimes just go for the double tap you know it's fire two shots at them regardless just because if you hit them in the arms or any of their appendages it won't one shot you need to hit them like head chest area it seems to get the one one shot reliably all right senator um some people will be pleased to see this all the way up here with the speed loader and the extra damage yeah, it's a it's a solid option for bots. Uh, you can get those one taps. You can deal with Strider's uh, turrets if you run or don't have a medium pen weapon or a support weapon that can deal with it. Uh, it's it's just solid. I still don't absolutely love it in all situations, but it's it's seeing a lot more usage out of me, and I see a lot more people liking it and using it. Although I don't love it as much for bugs, I do love it a lot more for bots. It's 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 definitely uh, looking a lot better. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the placement of these weapons. Uh, some things that could change, and I would totally be f thinking that you're fair for saying it, is like Purify going down to B+. Uh, I just highly recommend giving it a fair shake. I know Reddit has been absolutely destroying it as a weapon, but give it a fair shake. It, you'll see that it really is just the Plaza Punisher with more range, and I think uh, if they address the problem with the medium pen and not being able to kill Strider turrets, I could see it going even higher in the A tier. Um, it, I do think it deserves to be higher. It just I don't know what's going on with the medium pen. I don't know why it doesn't have the medium pen that it says. Uh, it should be a lot higher, I believe, uh, once they fix that. Other than that, uh, Slugger, you know, I'm sure some people might want to put it down to B tier and any other weapons that I feel like are somewhat controversial in my placement. Eruptor, I think it would be totally fair if you put it lower, but I just have a lot of value in how high the utility is. The utility is immense, and it's the only weapon that can do it. If more weapons could do what the Eruptor could do versus a Fabricator and at that range... I would probably put it lower, maybe like B tier, just because its ad clear is not nearly as strong, especially if you don't do the animation cancel. Uh, remember, if you're trying to do the animation cancel, you press the stratagem button in between shots, wait about half a second to a second, and you can just fire immediately after, skipping the uh, the next round loading into the chamber. So, yeah. All right, YouTube, that is my bots tier nine co-op hell dive, you know, tier list for those wondering. It's not a stealth tier list. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Appreciate the uh, the view. Consider dropping a like and a comment. Uh, consider uh, joining the Discord. That's where we have so many discussions about Helldive. Constantly talking about the game. That's where I have the PNG form of the uh, of the tier list. Also, and if you'd like, come by and talk to me on stream. I stream basically every single day in the Helldiver section. So, absolutely love this game. Still playing it every day. I I can't get enough of it. Love it. All right, bye everybody. Peace.